Expect a longer wait for that bus or streetcar. 14,000 children will lose their school breakfast program. Just some of the cuts included in the city's 2012 budget. It's a budget that slams the door on out-of-control spending. Yet there's a growing belief on council that there's no need to cut anything. I have no doubt in my mind this is an artificial and created crisis. The reason? A looming $139 million surplus this year. Problem is, there's no mention of that surplus anywhere in the budget. It is the city's money and it belongs in the budget with all other revenues and all other expenses. $139 $139 million in extra cash. Even if the majority was put into rainy day savings, the mayor's opponents suggest $50 million would be all it would take to prevent any service cuts. For example, major TTC service reductions could be avoided using just $15 million of the surplus. Snow clearing and street sweeping could be saved for $5 million. Library cuts avoided for $7 million. Cuts to wading pools and arenas avoided for a paltry $417,000. We've committed to deal with the, um, the, the instability in our uh, financial uh, foundation, and you know it takes some very difficult decisions. Mayor's allies stand by the budget, pointing out the surplus doesn't solve the city's bigger financial problems. We can't use one-time monies to balance the budget. But critics believe the mayor is simply cutting for the sake of cutting. After all, Rob Ford promised there was plenty of waste on the books. We're actually now, in order to make the mayor an honest man, hiding money. That sets the stage for a messy budget battle. It may be tough to convince councillors cuts are needed when the money is sitting right there. And the budget now subject to months of debate and approval, so we'll see how this all shakes out. It's going to be tough for the mayor, though. He's lost a key ally today. His press secretary, Adrian Batra, who's been with him since his campaign, announcing today that she's resigning to take on a job as a commentator with a talk radio station and a Ford-friendly newspaper. Leslie? All right, Jackson Prosco at City Hall. Thanks.